players and uh, anxious out there to do well, but not a lot of, you know, veterans and uh, not a lot of experience, but there is a good move and a score to start things off by Tate. Yeah, They're but, very high on him. Yeah, but again, uh, he was being defended by Drummond right up under the rim, and he shoots a little, just a little hook, not even really elevating, and Time. scores easily. Uh, again, the defense got to clamp down. Yeah, Tate played four years at the Ohio State. Drummond underneath. All too easy for Dre. And it's 61-55. As we get going here in half number two, the final home game of the year on Banner Night. Olenek puts Drummond in the air, and Dre's going to... What? He's a big badminton guy. <laughs> really? That's his hidden talent. Badminton. I occasionally sprinkle those in for you. Here is THT's got it. Taylor Horton Tucker. Boy, he sold the drive, pulled back, gets the little jumper. Now Drummond gets back on defense and they'll reset and get into their action. Olinick is underneath the pass to Tate. And again, nobody playing defense at the rim. No. That's what a handful of times we've seen that already. Yeah, way too many times we've seen the gate open. I mean, the Lakers are a plus 14 in the paint. However, can't be that easy at the rim. Marquise Morris, he's going to get to the rim with relative ease and drum and count it. And once a drum next time and, and do better. Olinick, boy, runs over a man charging who the Lakers beat in the NBA Finals to win their 17th title. Olenek played 43 games this year with the Heat. Drummond goes around Olenek. He was not to be denied. And I think Olenek was also wary of that fourth foul. He uh, didn't play quite the same type of D. Kenyon Martin Jr. back to Tate. He's going to take a couple of steps. KCP was there, helped by Markeith. Eight to shoot, drive kick. Stop and pop from the free throw line. Rebound. Tate. That's a good save that time. Hard fight with Portland and Dallas. And Utah in a fight with Phoenix. Clippers in a fight with Denver. Things will become a lot clearer on Saturday before the final on Sunday. All the way. Lakers forgot to stop the ball. And in transition, a that's bucket not, for the Rockets. That's not the first time this evening. 67-61. <laughs> THT will bring it back out right on the Laker logo. The stars are for all the championships. And Drummond <laughs> inside dominating. It wasn't, it wasn't a great pass from KCP, but uh, easy enough for Drummond to pick it up and lay it in. 16 assists for the Lakers as a team tonight. Olenek has good range. And he's going to step back on Morris and hit it. Kelly Olenek, he's a... 38 percent are this year from three career year in points rebounds steals three pointers a game and minutes see what happens when you get minutes horton tucker short rebound olenic long lead good play by wesley matthews and then he schedule <laughs> came out tonight we've already looked it over here is tate got it well it's a two as the lakers do not hold the tie break with either one of those teams and more on what i just told you here's mike trudell to break it down yeah basically billy much more likely uh, tonight after these results that the lakers stay in the seventh seed the, the magic number for both dallas and portland is now one either a lakers loss in any of these three games or if they win either of their two uh, final games so still possible portland has to play at phoenix and then they have denver at home but billy look we could talk well he misses one of the three so we stay tied Marquis puts him in the popcorn machine, but uh, only three players on the roster uh, tonight that were available but played in uh, those games back in January. There's been a complete turnover for the Rockets, and now they have the lead again, 72 to 71. Just the third lead change of the night. Crowd a little quiet tonight. Of course, they made noise during the banner unveiling. Drummond Stu continues to lead the Lakers in scoring. Yeah, well, he gets the ball that deep, and Olinick is trying to draw fouls and get his team in position. And that's the way Olinick answers back. So, two big guys with completely different yeah. thoughts on how to score. 
Not on not thoughts on how to score, but it, skill levels on yeah. how to score. <laughs> yeah. THT again goes right by Olenek and lays it in. Oh, nice change of pace. It's going 20 miles an hour, then all of a sudden up to 50. Olenek gives it to Lamb. He's got Drummond in front of him, so he thinks he can get around him. Then he stopped. That's good little feed, but Drummond. Good defense that was at the end of that game. The pick by AD is also from that area, and, and then THD hit the game winner over his childhood idol. Derrick Rose. Morris got it. Markeith. 31 year old. Yeah, those are the kind of plays. It's just very simple, but I think the Lakers can take advantage of their size around the uh, in the painted area. Well, it's a good drive and kick. They're going to give it to Olinick. That one spills out. Play a lamb was wide open, but he decided not to take it. Horton. He had five assists early. He oh, still has five. And Olenek says, where'd the ball go? It's to Kyle Kuzma. Kuz on the break. Kuz all the way. Kuz scoop it up. Count it. And They've got to start taking complete mental control of this game. Yeah, they do. Drummond, by the way, his 11th double-digit rebound game for the Lakers tonight. Well short as it was Drummond closing out. So good defense that time in the half court for the Lakers. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Spin by Dre, but then he got under the bucket and not a whole lot he could do with it. Now they're hustling back the other way. Again, walking into the triple is Kelly Olenek. Five-point switch as Drummond was clearly on his way to a score. He misses it, and they get a triple. Marquise is wide open. Makes no mistake. Yes, sir, Marquise Morris. Marquise has the answers. He gets a triple. And here's that Kelly Olenek with another three-point attempt. It's also a, a three-way deal. That involved P.J. Tucker. Twos! Got it again with authority. Nice deceptive move by Coos. Two-hand jam. Just going hard to the cup. And this time at the other end, more points in the paint for the opposition. That's 38 for Houston.